Does time exist? The answer may seem obvious. Of course, it does. Just look at a calendar or a clock. But developments in physics suggest that the non-existence of time is an open possibility, one that we should take seriously. So time might not exist, but that's okay. At least, that's what Samuel Barron, Christy Miller, and Jonathan Tallett argue in their new book, Out of Time. The authors suggest that the discovery that time does not exist may have no direct impact on our lives, even while it propels physics into a new era. How can that be, and what would it mean? Physics is in crisis. For the past century, the universe has been explained with two successful physical theories, general relativity and quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics describes how things work in the incredibly tiny world of particles and particle interactions. General relativity describes the big picture of gravity and how objects move. Both theories work well in their own right, but the two are thought to conflict. Scientists agree these theories need to be replaced with a new, more general approach. Physicists want to produce a theory of quantum gravity that replaces both theories while capturing their extraordinary success. Such a theory would explain how gravity's big picture works at the miniature scale of particles. It turns out that producing a theory of quantum gravity is extraordinarily difficult. One attempt to overcome the conflict between the two theories is string theory. String theory replaces particles with strings vibrating in as many as 11 dimensions. In the 1980s and 90s, many physicists became dissatisfied with string theory and came up with new mathematical approaches to quantum gravity. One of the most prominent of these is loop quantum gravity, which proposes that the fabric of space and time is made of a network of tiny discrete chunks, or loops. One of the remarkable aspects of loop quantum gravity is that it eliminates time entirely. Loop quantum gravity is not alone in abolishing time. Some other approaches also seem to remove time as a fundamental aspect of reality. So we need a new physical theory to explain the universe, and it might not feature time. Suppose such a theory turns out to be correct. Would it follow that time does not exist? It's complicated, and it depends on what we mean by exist. Theories of physics don't include tables, chairs, or people, and yet we still accept they exist. Why? because we assume such things exist at a higher level than the one described by physics. But while we have a pretty good sense of how a table might be made out of fundamental particles, we have no idea how time might be made out of something more fundamental. So unless we can come up with a good account of how time emerges, it is not clear we can simply assume time exists. Time might not exist at any level, this is like saying that there are no tables at all. Trying to get by in a world without tables might be tough, but managing in a world without time seems positively disastrous. The discovery that time does not exist would seem to bring the entire world to a grinding halt. We would have no reason to get out of bed. But while physics might eliminate time, it seems to leave causation intact. The sense in which one thing can bring about another, Perhaps then physics is telling us that causation, not time, is the primary feature of our universe. Thank you for your time. And please, don't forget to subscribe.